The court said, I was recently informed that it was not there, so they require prior approval of parliament before this expenditure can be uh, authorized. So can I now invite the Honorable Minister, Honorable Monji Betty Ongom, uh, to make a presentation. <laughs> She's no longer ready to query. <laughs> Yes. Straight away. Listen. That my technical people can be introduced. Okay. Mm. Accounting officer. Akankwasa. Okay. In charge of what? Roads. Mm -hmm. Minister, last time you came here, I don't remember whether it was you or one of come here. You had acting, acting, acting everywhere. Isn't that a sign of mismanagement? <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Honorable Chair, we are soon uh, uh, advertising for promotions and also for appointment. There are ongoing appoint appointment consultations for appointments for substantive position. I found the status quo of acting, but we are working on it, Chair. Honorable Chair and members, this supplementary budget is a proposal for 10 billion shillings and uh, from 2018, financial year 2018-2019 and 2019-2020, KCC had been receiving 30.5 billion under Uganda Roads Fund for road-related infrastructure maintenance and construction. Based on that, the plan for KCCA has been based on that 30.5 billion shillings. Unfortunately, Chair, in this financial year, Uganda Roads Fund released only 22.3 billion to KCCA, which made it very difficult for us to do the road works within Kampala. All of you move within Kampala, you've seen the state of the road and the comments from the public about the potholes in the city. Therefore, we requested for this supplementary funding to cover the shortfalls to undertake rehabilitation works on key roads and some of these roads have been terribly affected by heavy rains in the country, which has damaged the network and required emergency intervention. Therefore, after engagement with Minister of Finance, we were allocated the 10 billion, and these are the roads that we intend some of them are already work ongoing because we were already assured that the money was coming under the three percent. So we started work under our framework agreement with the contractors, and the roads are the following: Upper Colorado Terrace, Queensway. If you go to Queensway now, you will be very pleased with the ongoing work where they are doing uh, a lot of pavements, but also ramping the walkways. 
then the portal patching on the Wilson Road, Sieg Road. Honorable Minister, Channel Street, yes. you can be guiding where we get that what you are reading from this I'm schedule reading from you have attached. The, from the paper first, not the, uh, not the annex chart. It is uh, on page one. Page one, paragraph four. Yeah, because I was trying to coordinate that page one and the attached schedule. For that. <laughs> it gives us which money you need. This schedule should coordinate with what is on page one. I think we shall get there. We shall reach the schedule. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm on Channel Street, Johnson Street, Yusuf Lule Road, Portville Road, Fifth Street, Lubiri Ring Road, Masaka Road, Salama Road, Luwako Road, Gaba Road, Bombo Road, Sa Apolo Kagwa, Naguru East Road, Katalima, Sasi Road, Port Tinda, Kira Road, Tinda Kuatule, and we shall also undertake street lighting maintenance, drainage maintenance, road marking. When we clear the above outstanding certificates, the, the, which, which are the, the works are ongoing as I stated, the mini, we shall minimize outstanding liabilities and we'll be able to undertake additional maintenance road on key roads that are, have been reoccurring in Parliament from many members of Parliament. This will include Mutungu Tank Road, Cecilia Road, Naguru Close, Gaba Bypass Road, and continue with road maintenance activities in all divisions. Honorable Chair, we would also wish to update the committee that KCC has prepared two road projects that are meant to comprehensively address most of the road challenges that we are currently facing. This is called the City Road Rehabilitation Project, which is to be funded by African Development Bank. It has already been approved by Cabinet it's before the National Economy Committee. It will cover 67 kilometers and another uh, uh, annuity road and bridges project. This one is the funding is coming from the UK Export Finance, which will cover 300 kilometers of road, and this particular loan is being processed. To date, what is the annuity amount? The annuity amount is the one, uh, it's supposed to be 100, 100 million. Per annum? No, total. Yeah, but I think the annuity here means that you're paying annually for a certain period of time. Uh, it's for three years. I will request the issue, can you terminate? And was it in the, uh, our medium term expenditure framework? And the mark here? Yes, all the roads that are under these projects are roads that are in the medium and long term. Okay, go uh, on. Correct. So, to date, we have an outstanding liabilities uh, of 12.1 billion. Mm. And uh, the attachment that you are seeing there are roads that have been undertaken, which requires payment. Therefore, this 10 billion part of the, part of that money will settle some of the liabilities. And so what happens to the two? Uh -huh. What happens to the two? The two. the two billion will come from your pocket. The two billion we have requested also finance because we, unfortunately, because of COVID, we might have difficulties. But under the, 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 uh, the agreement, we always raise revenue, and when we raise revenue, we get a certain percentage. We had uh, projected that we would have raised 100 billion mm -hmm. uh, because by by February we had already raised about 70, 75 billion. Or, so we were hoping to raise much more, and then we would recover uh, from the percentage that finance usually gives us. So with the COVID interruption, uh, we would find a mechanism under which. 
uh, we can uh, deal with the two excess, but I think uh, if you will uh, uh, articulate more on that, mm -hmm. but uh, with that chair, we request this committee to approve this supplementary of 10 billion so that we are able to work on the roads yeah, in Kampala okay. because this is the face of this country. This is where everybody determines yeah, yeah. whether Uganda is an efficient, effective, yeah. and it gives the face of this country. I beg to submit. Correct. Okay. To, to clarify on the annuity. How many years the, the annuity program? And what roads are covered in the annuity program? Thank you, Minister. Chair, this amount uh, for the annuity loss program is supposed to be paid back for a period of 10 years. It covers 300 kilometers. It address the rest of the land. Okay. Say, uh, mm. <coughs> Say, uh. Yes, uh, maybe before you come in, Vice. Okay. There was also this ADB 67 kilometers. Yes. Could you talk about that as well? some good news yes thank you chair i think this one we should applaud the minister and her team for being very organized they have mm -hmm. they have really given information the certificates the company simple but we must get to know accept that this company is employ ugandans so the, the, the more the payment delays it means trouble to very many it affects so many sectors However, <coughs> what I want to add, this, 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 this team even accepts, instead of 12 billion, they want to provide from their own another, I don't know what they are going to do with the 2 billion. I don't know why finance could prioritize giving money to a, a sector which is not going to do work, like again, the year is closing tomorrow. We are on a lockdown, and you are, why don't you transfer that two billion and close this chapter? <laughs> and you close this chapter. You see, this is where prioritization becomes a problem in this country. But now, what I want, are Minister you, are and you ED, saying that children are not a priority? Where are they? Where are they? We are in a lockdown. We are in COVID. Where are they? And and tomorrow, the the financial year is closing. This one, they have certificates straight away, get money and clear. But the other ones are going to just look for what to do, which they are not going to do. Now, what I request of the minister for KCCA, what I request you to help our committee, since you have the certificates, they are in your files. For our tracking in the future, when you come again, we need copies of those certificates so that next time we can mark you. They are already here. We have them. Chairman. Oh, very we have good. Them here. Chair, I beg Chair, to submit.
Well, and uh, in, in particular, I want to ask you a question on what is happening right now between uh, that, between, uh, the, uh, that roundabout at the Fairway Hotel and the Garden City. Mm. Really, to me, <laughs> if I was a, 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 an engineer, mm. I would remove, Everything. now that there is a uh, for, uh, there is a lockdown, I would remove and put the, the new the new one because those both was real. At the end of the day, I've been uh, observing. They usually take like three to four years, and you see the whole thing again coming. Mm. So I I have them to explain instead of budgeting, and it's a lot of money. Mm. Oh Why don't they instead uh, get this money and put it on? How oh much is it? Yes, just information, Chairman, mm. from that question. I want to ask you to be I've seen item 19. No, I, when you look at the chair, the shape. Mm. Item 19, mm -hmm. 20, 23 for standing. They mm. all buy that material. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. They are all for purchase of those items. Why are they being budgeted before? Separately. I see 800 million, 543 million, uh, 555 million, and and when I go to other companies like Emoga, they say they will they will purchase this asphalt and and lay the roads. But here these things stand out at their own, and they are being itemized. And I've also seen a figure here, just road markings where you are putting uh, Fabu Baker, 172 million to put paint and uh, zebra cross, uh, that kind of stuff, you are putting that kind of... So, can somebody explain for us the multiplicity of why under that uh, Sterling Civic Engineering, you are buying for 800, 500, 500 and somewhere, and up there, you are, you are doing it differently. Mm -hmm. Chair. 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 Yeah, thank you, Chair. Chair, I'm going through, through the document presented by the Minister. And I've also witnessed what is happening in Kampala. I've seen the roads on Upper Kololo being worked on. These people are working day and night, even during COVID. And I think these companies urgently need money so that these children of Ugandans who are working in this administration are paid. The only concern I have is on uh, schedule, schedule, schedule one, still schedule one, where Mwanga was talking about Baker technical services. The minister should just clarify why this comes to so much money, 172, when it is just painting. Eh? The minister should clarify that. And then, uh, the, and then uh, talking about what... Uh, Honorable Chivumbu was discussing, I think it is the supply, supply, not buying. It is money planned to supply. Maybe the minister will add on that. But I strongly support the supplementary of 10 billion. It is urgent. We should give these people money so that they can pay Ugandans, the ones who are working, because these companies are in their need of the money. So I strongly support the supplementary. Uh, thank you, Honorable Chair and the minister and her, and her team. Honorable Minister, last night on uh, some television, the road mayor of your authority uh, was presenting a draft master plan for Kampara, which has been in place for over five years. These are very, very good plans. But how come that that physical plan has stayed as a draft for so long? When are we going to see it actualized so that we do this interim planning and implementation? Number two, I see, I'm very happy to see that you are buying some inputs, materials, asphalt, hardcore, and all that. We are encouraging force account, especially in road maintenance, government purchased machines for you. I want to know your own capacity as KCCA. In the terms of building your own capacity rather than depending on contractors, whom we see doing a lot of short work or taking a lot of money on small jobs 
which we should be building our own capacity as KCC at Hando. I thank you. By Mr. Chairman, that you just wanted to on the shadow work. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I don't know whether you have watched this on um, this viral on uh, WhatsApp. This lady who was walking around the Nakawa and she's taken by what up to now they haven't seen. You can imagine in the in the city of Kampala, just near here. So such as things now the lady, the family, all this time they haven't seen her. So we want to really in such a situation. Let, let's work even if it is small, but let these things be neat. Yeah. Mm. So why is that what you are talking about? Between the uh, Between the uh, Nakawa, No, mine was just generally that instead of uh, just punching small, small, they, they, we should do, let these engineers, at least they should, if there, is, if there are so many portals, let the, the whole thing be removed and then they put a new one. So we should not come here and budget for the portals, no. If the thing is old, we put the new one, especially in the city center. Yeah. Thank you, Chair. And uh, I want to thank the, the Honourable Minister. Yeah, I think I have only two observations to make here. I have seen there is a, a five-year work plan attached to this request, and it runs from 2017-18 to 2021-2022. And, uh, and, and part of they, they include part of what has been presented to us here. I don't know what, what percentage of this work Co is constitutes this uh, five-year work plan but that said chair we need to be as a committee very very careful when we are processing this i have been a member of the physical infrastructure committee and uh, for all the time i was there not one year but for four years uh, three years i have been that committee we kcca at all material time Decline to come and appear and justify their activities before the committee. Even when they are submitting a budget, they dodge. They never justify their activities. For all the time, the minister was not, the minister is new. She doesn't, may not know this. But the technical staff have been there. And I'm seeing situations here where they are now doing things in a very unique way. Ordinarily, chair, when a road is being worked, if it is a contract, yes, they say we are giving you contract to do Naguru Road. Now what I am seeing here, and we need to be very careful with this. What I'm seeing, I am seeing people supplying hardcore. There are those supplying hardcore, I don't know to who. There are those supplying asphalt. There are those doing the marking. And yet, normally under road construction, in, in the physical structure, when a contract is given, the company is supposed to mobilize equipment the company which takes contract mobilizes all whatever is necessary and you deliver road now it means even you do even the marking and so on but here i am seeing the, the usual suspect this multiplex also supplying here what asphalt what so chair my only take here is this has been a five-year work plan KCCA has been budgeting this money every financial year. And, and Chair Wax takes the biggest co component of our uh, annual budget. I do not know the percentage now, it's, but it could be something close to 22% goes to Wax. So we, we need to be very careful when now we see this. And, and I am very sure the minister here has never appeared before the relevant sector committee. She must have dodged that committee. Because that committee would scrutinize these items now being presented to us. For now, I would urge, Chair, that our committee here desist from the temptation of scrutinizing this, but we can go ahead and maybe look at if really Minister of Finance is, 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 is we look at how much did they get how much did they spend? That's where the minister should be able to tell us so that we know that this is, this is money 
which is owing. I remember, Chair, there was a time UNRWA came to us around the same time. We, they asked for money and they failed to pay because they were caught up by the process. So even we are not sure whether we give them this money within these 45 remaining days, they'll be able to pay these certificates they are claiming. So, Chair, I, I want us to only be sure that uh, the minister should be able to tell us now, forget about these specifications, these certificates. <laughs> How do how do how does her request address the issue of of unavoidability and unforeseeability so that we can discharge our work according to the law? Chair. Chair. Okay. Chair. Uh, well, I think don't forget the first paragraph where they said the ordinary they get thirty point five billion. Ordinarily, they get 30.5 billion annually for road maintenance. And this year, it was reduced to 22.3 billion. But all the time I've been in that committee, whenever you call them, they don't. They don't come. But are we discussing that committee? No, I, yeah. no but, but that's why, that's yeah. what I'm telling you. That's your story. That these are sexual issues. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It. Okay. Yeah, I thought they belong to the co Presidential Affairs Presidential Commission. Presidential Affairs. No. Yes. No. yes. Unless you summon them separately. You see, yes. you see, yes. when it comes to... No, no. The police statements is to presidential. Yes. That's where they defend the budget. Yeah. No, no. Okay, we have listened to you. Police statement is to the. Oh, no. oh, oh, I think we have listened to you. Let's listen to. Thank you very much. When I say. The minister for what they are doing for Kampala right now. I also want to draw the minister. Can I draw the minister to the video trending in social media? And I believe Nebo Kajinda raised it. During a flood, a woman dis disappears into a either manhole and vanishes from it. Is it happening in Kampala? She was just saying Kampala, what? It's saying if it is in Kampala, where are these manholes? What is in your plan to have them filled so that such a thing doesn't happen? The woman the Covered that one. And okay. track the body. I'm told up now the body has not appeared. Number two, we have gone to Loom Street, Min Price Butter, and so many other parts of Kampala. And we have seen the work you are doing. The work looks marvelous. You have even planted the grass. But colleagues, give it five months and you'll find that grass gone. You'll find the trees that have been planted there are withered. What do you provide? Where is the provision for maintaining such scenery? So that we have those grass remaining, we have those trees remaining. We are even told right now there is a weed which is invading some of the trees that you have planted here. What are you trying to do to make sure that we get rid of some of these things? It's not a question of just putting it there for us to see for some few weeks and then later it destroys. What is the long-term plan to have what you have put there remain and make our city beautiful? Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to thank the Minister for his question responds to the specific issues then if there's anything left I will summarize that one is very technical thank you very much chair and honorable members and there was a question about the certificates the multiple certificates being paid to Sterling Civil Engineering and I want to inform the committee that we have a framework contract for supply of materials. These materials include quarry products like hardcore, 
like aggregates and asphalt. And we, we put these contracts in place because we want to use some of our force account capacity. So we, we get contracts for supply of materials and we use our machines and labor to implement this work. That is why you have those multiple certificates for supply. Uh, we also had to contract a company to renew the marking for the parking spaces on all our streets which had faded and that company was Abu Beka. It has completed the work. But I also want to inform the committee uh, to mark everywhere where there is street parking, to, to remark all those slots and to put there the road furniture. Uh, I would like to inform the committee that we have now acquired our own road marking machine and going forward we shall be marking these places ourselves, even the roads themselves. The and the zebra crossings. The yes, yes. Sir. Uh, there was an issue about Yusuf Lule Road, where we are carrying out some extensive maintenance works. We have actually inspected this road to the detail and determined the failed areas. So those are the ones we are repairing instead of rehabilitating the entire road because we don't even have the budget. So the, after we've done these repairs, the road will serve for some considerable time. Our road maintenance needs. Yes, we prepared a strategic plan for road maintenance, which indicates our needs. But we've never got this money in any financial year. For example, this financial we needed 61 billion, but we got 22, which was even lower than the previous financial year. So that plan indicates the need, but we haven't got the money yet. And uh, of course, this is a problem for us because every year we are adding on more expensive infrastructure, which will need maintenance. For example, we are adding on traffic lights on the roads, they need maintenance and street lights. Also, in a couple of years from now, we shall be handed over the flyovers for maintenance by UNRWA, which will also need more money for maintenance. We shall continue to request government to give us more money for road maintenance. Shall we be able to pay out this money? Yes, we are very ready to pay out this money because the certificates are with us. In a matter of one week, all these payments can be cleared. Then there was an issue about uh, the master plan. We prepared the master plan, which is at a, a macro scale. It is a structure plan indicating the zoning. But we have to now drill down to the detailed plan. And the preparation of that detailed plan is going to start before the end of this year. That is what is going to show to the detail how every neighborhood in the city will look like. And then all plan approvals will be in accordance to that detailed plan. Maintenance of the green. Uh, we have a landscaping department in KCCA. And uh, every year we allocate some money for maintenance of the green. So we shall ensure that the green that has been put on the non-motorized transport corridor is well maintained. And we shall also request, or rather we shall carry out more enforcement to ensure that there are no street vendors on our streets, because these are the ones who usually damage this green. Uh, Chair, there was an issue about the unfortunate incident where a lady who uh, fell in a drainage channel. Uh, first of all, this was not an open manhole, but it was an open drainage channel alongside Ginger Road. This happened, this happened during a flood, and almost everywhere the road was flooded. So it was very, very a very risky moment for anyone to be on the road. It was very unfortunate, 
we have so many open drains still in Kampala and we would like to cover all of them. To put there culverts, instead of having open drains, we put there pipe culverts. But it is also very, very expensive. We have started on it and hopefully in a few years from now we shall have Kampala free of open drains. That one is also going to be implemented very soon. Uh, of course, we've put rails in many places, but they are also subject to vandalism. Because people are stealing them at a high rate. They are also stealing manhole covers. Uh, Chair, I beg to submit. Okay, okay. there are two more. So this item 23, this semi-automatic mode covers by program. Item number 23, this item was for purchase of a paver and block making machine so that we can start renewing our pavers, uh, our pavements using uh, casual labor to provide more employment and also to make blocks for any constru construction we would like to undertake. So this machine has been installed at uh, Chanja and it is in operation. At Chair, with regard to the collapsed building in Lukuli, uh, this was a very unfortunate event. The proprietor of this property had been stopped from construction on 13th March 2020, but he took advantage of the lockdown, housed some people in that very building and continued with the construction. We have prepared a report on that and also further investigations are going on. But also, the staff who are supposed to oversee building construction in that division, we are taking very stern measures on them. can conclude. Uh, Honorable Chair, uh, we belong rightly, as you stated, to the Committee of Presidential Affairs. This particular year, uh, which, which we have defended our budget, I have not received any invitation from Physical Planning Committee, Committee on Physical Infrastructure, to go and defend any policy statement for them, for KCCA. If uh, the committee would like us to come, agriculture has invited us. We have uh, gone to, because KCCA has 10 directorates, and the directorates, some of the directorates give money, and they call us to go and explain what we are doing with the money, like education and so on. So in the case that that is required, we are ready to, to, to do that. 
But I want to really conclude by saying that we are doing everything within our power to, within even cabinet, that some of the issues you have raised are of great concern, issues of physical planning in the city, issues of manhole, and uh, issues of beautification. That's why cabinet is undertaking serious discussion about reforms in the city. And once cabinet has concluded on some of those, we'll be able to bring it to parliament for further consideration. I thank you and request you to kindly approve the supplementary. The, under the law, uh, compensation should be done by the owner of the building because we had issued notice for him to stop. Oh, the woman who, the woman, uh, that one at the moment, it is the policy of KCCA for compassionate uh, 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 activity and packages that we are looking at, but uh, uh, we are not looking at, we are looking at it as an accident until police gives us a report. But the compassionate bit, we are handling it. Thank you very much. So we shall expect this afternoon to get the list of the annuity roads, as you promised, Engineer Chitaka. The, the list of the annuity roads, the 300 kilometers, um, uh, that is subsidiary information. I think uh, we have no problem with KCCA. Um, I do not see any objections, no, serious yeah. objections. Yes, yeah. yes, since we are all beneficiaries of this infrastructure anyway. Uh, so thank you very much, Minister. Yeah, that's what they are doing, I thought. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming and for the good presentation.